Four local teens killed in a car crash involving an allegedly stolen Kia put a spotlight on a story that we've been covering for almost three months now. Nationwide claims against Kia and Hyundai that they simply made their cars too easy to steal. There is a class action lawsuit against those manufacturers that stemmed from the so-called Kia challenge on TikTok. It showed people a way to steal certain makes and models of 2010 through 2021 Kia and Hyundai vehicles that use a mechanical key, not a fob or a push button to start the engine. The lawsuit claims that's possible because these cars don't have an engine immobilizer, something that's in just about every other car on the road. And all of that has led to some areas seeing thefts of these types of cars nearly double from this time last year. Joining us live to talk about this now is Jonathan Michaels, founder of MLG Attorneys and Law, at Law rather, which is leading this class action suit against Hyundai and Kia, their uh, headquarters there in California. And again, this includes some Western New York claimants. Uh, we appreciate you coming on, and I just want to start with those claims. You know, there are, of course, unfortunately, a lot of stolen cars across the country every single day. What is it about Kia and its parent company, Hyundai, that makes them more responsible for what's happening? So we have found that the cars that are produced by both Kia and Hyundai, uh, they've been made without these engine immobilizers. And, uh, and understand that this technology has been around for 30 years and in, has been in use by virtually every major car manufacturer since the 1990s. And we've got Kia and Hyundai that's advertising their cars as having world-class technology, but not using this very simple device that's been around forever. I want to ask you about some of the responses that we've gotten from these companies here recently. Kia telling us that it's now working with police departments around the country to get these free steering wheel lock kits to drivers. Um, we kind of heard about that uh, at one point last week and then heard from people saying they couldn't actually go and get them. So there is some some concern with how that's playing out. And then Hyundai also um, putting out these security kits. Um, to drivers so that they can stay safe. Um, is that enough in your opinion? I, I imagine you think it's not. Well, it's not nearly enough. I mean, what really needs to be happening here is there needs to be a nationwide recall for all these Kia and Hyundai vehicles to fix the problem that these manufacturers created. I mean, it's a nice gesture to send out a couple of uh, steering wheel locks here and there, but recognize we're dealing with 10 million vehicles in the United States that have this problem and a couple of steering wheel locks is just not going to do the job. Uh, all of these cars need to be fixed. They need to be uh, uh, with this technology that's been around forever, and that needs to happen immediately. People are being hurt significantly by this. Since we've been covering this story now, especially because of this just horrific crash that happened here in Buffalo, um, some viewers, their response to it has been, look, it's not the manufacturer that's responsible here. It's the people who are taking these cars, who are stealing them. Um, how do you process that sort of culpability here? Clearly, you would acknowledge that that criminals are responsible for their crimes. Um, but, but what about the company side? Well, you know, they certainly are responsible and we all need to take personal responsibility for what's happening here. And, and you know, you, no one should be out stealing a car to be sure, but it's foreseeable by these manufacturers that if you don't put this technology in these cars, uh, then this is going to be happening and, and recognize this, this whole uh, TikTok challenge has been going on for, for months now. And if Kia and Hyundai would have issued a recall immediately, it would have fixed a the problem they've known about. You know, we wouldn't have these these four uh, unfortunate fatalities uh, that happened last week, and we wouldn't have these thousands of cars continuing to be stolen. I mean, we're seeing no slowdown whatsoever of these thefts. It's just crazy. Yeah, we just keep hearing about them um, for more and more people. When you talk about, um, you know, the possibility of a recall here and you calling on the manufacturers to issue a recall, we oftentimes think of, of the government putting out recalls, right? What is, you believe, the government's responsibility here, whether it be at the, the state level or the federal level, to step in and do something? So the way that the recall works in the United States, it's, it's up to the car makers to issue a recall voluntarily. Uh, every once in a while, the car makers, as Kia and Hyundai are doing, will not issue a recall. And in that instance, it really is the job of the federal government to step in and to force the car makers to issue a recall. And so while we hope that Kia and Hyundai will do the right thing, uh, if they don't, we think it's incumbent upon the U.S. government to force them to make the recall and, again, protect these consumers. The consumers are the ones that are really suffering from all of this, and, and it needs to stop. 
Finally, I've got about a minute left. Um, I know that you have, again, we mentioned this earlier, claimants from right here in Western New York. Um, how many people are now involved in, in your class action lawsuit and how is that gonna play out moving forward? What's kind of the, the timeline that you hope to see action? Sure, so we filed a nationwide class action. We filed it here in, in Orange County, which is the backyard of, of Kia and Hyundai. Uh, we strategically filed it here because that's where they're located and, and they, they can't run anywhere. Uh, we, I tell you this, we are receiving hundreds and hundreds of phone calls a week from people that have had their cars stolen. Uh, we represent people from the West Coast, the East Coast, and, and pretty much everywhere in between. Uh, and so there are just thousands upon thousands of people that have been contacting us alone uh, for this situation. What I expect to happen is, you know, the court's going to take some time to go through this process. And hopefully, with enough people reaching out and, and putting pressure on Kia and Hyundai to do the right thing, they will issue the recall. If they don't, it's unfortunate, but we have a system for that, and it's called a jury trial. And so we fully intend to hold them responsible to take them to trial if they won't voluntarily issue a recall. And by the way, provide compensation to the people uh, who've had their cars stolen and provide compensation to anyone that has one of these cars because there's been a market loss in the vehicles overall. We've no doubt heard horror stories um, from people right here in Western New York and elsewhere um, who have been dealing with this problem. Jonathan Michaels is an attorney specializing in automotive law in California, leading to that class action lawsuit there that he was describing. Thanks for sharing some of your time with us. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And by the way, we did reach out to Kia to get a response to this lawsuit. We were told from the automaker, quote, no comment.